just get gives them more hiding places. Whoa! Oh! Oh! Oh boy! Net! 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 What? Ain't small. Oh! That's not a bad one. Oh. That is. It is, dude. Oh! Oh! Oh, you all right? Yeah. Uh oh, uh oh, you all right? Yeah, I just wish you wouldn't have lost the fish. Oh. The main. All right, so this video is a great example of why I like to wear sunglasses fishing, folks. Um, you know, for the most part, a lot of fishermen they like using sunglasses for the polarization effect. Um, you know, sun is beating down. Uh, casts a glare on the water and so polarization can allow your eyes to penetrate through the water a lot better everything looks clear um, works really great for sight fishing for bass locating schools of bait fish uh, their weed bed structure down there and even just you know looking for bass and seeing where they hang out at um, with musky you're able to anticipate that follow-up strike you know as they fall up the lure a lot better and see them a lot further in the distance and anticipate that strike however you know sunglasses can be used for also safety reasons for protection as you've seen with this video with AR casting when we were out uh, smallmouth bass fishing with the mega bass jerkbait and here's the thing about this jerkbait these are different types of hooks if you notice you zoom in here these hooks the barb is on the outside so Imagine the damage that could have done to his eyes. Uh, Eric Casting was using the Costa sunglasses. These are more premium glasses. I think they're going to hold up better. However, I think these striking glasses I got at Sportsman's Warehouse, which run just you know everywhere from 15 bucks to 20 bucks, can work just as well. Um, the main here is uh, protection, and so if you're looking to protect your eyes, this is a great way. Um, here's the thing with these smallmouth bass. I don't think this happens as much with largemouth bass. Um, it's happened. This has happened previously out on my boat a few few years back with my Scottish buddy Cameron. Um, he was re uh, what was it? Uh, he was reeling up a Berkeley Flicker Shad. He had a nice size bass on, nothing too big. But again, with those smallmouth bass, they're really great fighters, and when they're you notice in this video, just fishing way are casting, when they start dunking their head and they do that bup 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 and that lure comes back, it cuts, comes back out like a rocket and that happened with even uh, my friend Cameron and I using that flicker shed and I was going to net it and with his, it actually, the flicker shed hit my sunglasses and then afterwards landed like right on my cheek and the barb went inside my cheek and I had to do a little surgery on on my boat. Um, I ended up just poking out <laughs> the one hook in the other side of my cheek cutting off the barb and just you know running out again and very quickly didn't really have to worry about but if I wasn't wearing my sunglasses then I don't know what kind of damage I could have done in my eye. You know the old saying you can't put a price on health especially your eyes this is what you use you know to go to work to fish with i'm telling you folks every time i get a new fisherman or someone i meet on my boat it can be even from the shoreline i always remind them you know wear sunglasses not only for the polarization when you're musky fishing or bass fishing but for the safety reasons so just to remind you here and i think smallmouth Again, just the way that they're great fighters, um, a lot of different fighters than largemouth bats tend to be a little lethargic. However, those largemouth that Kent like fight pretty good, and this could possibly happen too uh, over at Kent. But the smallmouth, just the way that, that lure just ricochets back, and you just got to anticipate that from the time to time, especially the person who's netting. And I think wearing sunglasses and even casting. So you got three people on the boat. You know, you've seen that movie, <laughs> was it with Chevy Chase, Funny Farm, and they, they hook each other. You know, it's sad to say, but that can happen with too many people in a boat. And if, you know, I just put up a, a musky video, me fishing with Alex and uh, uh, Northern Mike, 
and I, you know, with these musculars, with these size hooks, here's a Medusa, here's a Bulldog, we're always communicating, you know, remind you, I was just using the Striking 8.0, but still, I mean, no one wants to feel what those size hooks would feel like underneath your skin, and so, you know, you always want to communicate, um, be careful when you're getting out there fishing, uh, always wear sunglasses no matter what, and I do take them off, however, sometimes when I'm getting towards t uh, dusk, musky fishing, and you might want to, you know, uh, buy a pair of uh, just regular glasses for that occasion if you're fishing at night or fishing, you know, again, um, towards dusk because the musky like to bite within that last hour and you just never know. So anyways, just want to put out the safety video. I know Eric Casting did his own safety video about this, but with my angle on my camera, you really get a good view of how this Mega Bass 110 Plus One jerkbait hit his sunglasses right at his eyes. And with those reverse barbed hooks, you know, I know he's, <laughs> it's very scary. So um, just take precaution here, anglers. This is definitely for those new amateur anglers or some of the young anglers. Just, you know, take precaution. This is one of the reasons I like to wear sunglasses not only for the polarization be able to see through the water better but for safety reasons as well uh thank you anglers tight lines and take care